same is true for us. Because like the disciples, we sometimes don't know what to do. We sometimes get tired. We're sometimes worn out and drained of all of our power. I know that, that I have felt this way. In fact, I have been feeling pretty worn out myself lately. And then I went to Montreat, hoping for a little rest and relaxation. <laughs> the conference that uh, Jamie and I attended while we were at Montreat is called the Art, Recreation, and Worship Conference. And I had never been to this conference before, so I, I wasn't really sure if I was going to like it. And, and what, I really, what I really wanted was to sleep. <laughs> this was not one of those kinds of conferences. <laughs> they, were, they were busy. It was, a, it, it was always doing something. And, uh, uh, and I have to say that I was surprised at the end of the week. Because I, the whole week I was going, oh, I just, wanna, I just want a nap. I just want a nap. But I, I ended up feeling really energized at the end of the week. Jamie and I spent the whole car ride home talking about ideas and what we learned and what we talked about and what we did. Uh, and we were, uh, both of us, in a, a workshop called Soul Care in the Afternoon. And I had no idea what to expect from a, a, a workshop on soul care. But I have to tell you, it was really interesting. It talked about not just... Um, self-care and doing things like exercising and, and eating right. But it talked about doing things that feed your soul. And we, we did watercolor and collages, which I got to tell you, they didn't, mine didn't really look too good. But, but both Jamie and I, we got the point of what the, uh, the facilitator was trying to teach us in this class, that we need to find ways to be fueled. We need to find energy. And so power is essential, not just for car batteries, but for our souls as well. The spirit can keep us going even when we are worn out and tired and all we want to do is take a nap. Because without it, we are like Marty's car, a perfectly good engine, but no power. We can find this power today even, even without going to Montreat, although I do highly recommend it. Pentecost power is what runs food drives and gives homeless people a, a warm place to sleep. It's what animates church volunteers to continually pour out love on our young disciples. It is what inspires youth leaders to speak the truth of love to a group of teenagers instead of focusing on popularity and GPAs. The answer is to tap in to a source of power that is beyond ourselves. Friends, God created a powerhouse on Pentecost, which gives us new source of energy. Unlike coal, oil, or natural gas, the spirit does not contribute to climate change. Unlike the wind of the air, it is always blowing. Unlike geothermal, does not require drilling. And unlike solar, it is available even on cloudy days like today. Friends, all we have to do is ask for it. So may it be for you and me, grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And now I invite you